three months out from Election Day, but the campaign is obviously heating up a little bit of a back and forth between yourself and John Avalon. Um, let's start here. Or, or for you, anyway, are you just a little surprised we're this intense in the campaign this early on right now? No, not at all. Uh, you know, Manhattan's John Avalon uh, came to this campaign to bring it. Uh, unfortunately, he's bringing a lot of lies right now that need to be refuted in 2023. I held uh, liar George Santos accountable, somebody who lied to many Long Islanders, and I, I intend to hold Manhattan's John Avalon accountable for his lies as well. Let's talk about first as one of the things that got brought up, which was the residency issue here, where we talk about John Avalon and where he lives, where he claims to live. What's your con contention as far as what's going on with his residency? Yeah, John Avalon is a resident of Manhattan, not by my words, but by his own claims on his own tax forms. He claims a residency property tax exemption on his Manhattan $4 million property that requires him to be a Manhattan resident. It's not my claim, it's his own claim. He owns a $4 million Manhattan mansion and a $2 million Hampton summer pad. And he's trying to run out of that summer pad, uh, claiming to Long Islanders that somehow he's a resident of Long Island. He's not, and I intend to call him out. How does that compare to your situation as far as your residency? Because when you ran last time, there was an issue with where you lived as far as living outside of the district. Yeah, I, I, the difference is I've always been truthful with where I live. Born and raised in this community, went to high school in this district, met my uh, high school sweetheart in this district, a woman I married. My uh, oldest child goes to, goes to high school at Santhes High School in this district. My parents live in this district. My father unfortunately died in Mather Hospital in the district. My ties to this district are true, and I've been truthful about where I live. Are you planning to move into the district, or have you moved into the district? Yeah, th those plans are currently on hold. Uh, high interest rates and how many times the New York State Democrats have uh, shuffled the district lines around to put those plans on hold. What about his claims, like he said, that he has moved there, that that is his primary re residence in Sag Harbor? He's lying. It's not his primary residence. Who lives in their $2 million uh, summer pad when they have a $4 million uh, mansion in Manhattan? Uh, that's a lie uh, that I am trying to debunk right now and get you folks in the media to ensure that the proper amount of sunlight gets shed upon Avalon's lies. And you brought up his voting record as well as far as casting votes out here in Suffolk County when you claim, as again, that he's living at Manhattan. Yeah, he, he lives in Manhattan. He, he's voted in Suffolk County for a couple of years now, but votes absentee. Why would you, if you live full time on Long Island, have to vote absentee from Manhattan? It doesn't make any sense. Suffolk County voters are too smart to have to fall for lies like this. And I expect that he'll he'll realize that come November. That was one of the issues that came up, the other being the uh, use of the photo that he posted on Instagram a while back of him and his family trick or treating used by yourself on Facebook. Uh, first, why this decision to use that photo? Yeah, so my wife and I are proud parents of three awesome kids, and I would do anything to protect my kids. But Avalon's no victim here. It's a photo that he posted to his 17,000 Instagram followers, 500 of whom liked it. And before we posted, we blurred out the kids' photos. The kids should not be an object of the campaign. But he's trick-or-treating in Manhattan. You trick-or-treat where, where your home is. And we wanted to ensure that his own photo that he posts on his own account that voters are aware of to attach him to his real home in Manhattan. Do you regret at all using the photo? No, in fact, because we blurred the faces out, I think that's an important step that we have to take. We're both apparently proud of our families. I put photos of my kids in my literature. He does the same with his. Uh, but I think it's important if we're going to reference an issue that we at least do things like blur out a face. And he said, and I just want to make sure I have this correctly from what he had said, that he referred to it saying you need to swear to leave his kids out of the race once and for all. And if you refuse, he will. you'll have to answer to him personally, not politically. What is your reaction to that? Looking forward to debating Mr. Avalon because he has a lot to account for on the amount of lies that he's told, not only on his residency, but the root causes of inflation, the border crisis and Joe Biden's health. He's been lying a lot, so I look forward to facing him personally to confront him on those lies. And just for, to that point on debates, you've both agreed to the News 12 debate right now. That, that, is, that is the truth. That is where we're at right now. You're both going to be debating head-to-head -head on News 12, correct? Yeah, I was excited to, to, uh, to, to agree to the News 12 debate, of course, hosted here on Long Island. Somehow he wants to debate in Manhattan. I guess it's closer to home for him on PIX11. Apparently their studio is just a mile from his, uh, from his Manhattan home. But I'm going to do the debates right here on Long Island. Nick, right now, real quick. What issues have you been fo focusing on the most right now? Because there are so many that are so important to people, especially in this race. Yeah, high prices and the border are the two issues that voters tell me most about. They want solutions from the federal government. We're on the wrong track 
on those issues. The government spends way too much. We tax way too much. We should stop how much we overtax and overspend. And concurrently, we have to secure our southern border and implement Trump era policies that kept our border secure. These are the things on which I'm campaigning. These are the things on which voters want Suffolk County politicians to focus. And in your mind, why are you a better choice than John Avalon for this district? Because we're right on the issues. I'm from here. I understand the issues. I've been fighting for those issues transparently and will continue to do so in a second term in Congress.